Hello, I'm Father Martin and welcome to another one of my reflections. These are taking place during the coronavirus outbreak. So before we begin, if we just spend a few moments in prayer, praying for each other and the whole world. Our reading comes from the first reading of today's Mass and it's from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, Write to the angel of the church in Sardis and say, Here is the message of the one who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know all about you, how you are reputed to be alive and yet are dead. Wake up, revive what little you have. It is dying fast. So far, I have failed to notice anything in the way you live but my God could possibly call perfect. And yet, do you remember how eager you were when you first heard the message? Hold on to that. Repent. If you do not wake up, I shall come to you like a thief without telling you at what hour to expect me. There are a few in Sardis, it is true, who have kept their robes from being dirtied, and they are fit to come with me, dressed in white. Those who prove victorious will be dressed like these, in white robes. I shall not blot their names out of the book of life, but acknowledge their names in the presence of my Father and his angels. If anyone has ears to hear, let them listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Write to the angel of the church in Laodicea and say, Here is the message of the Amen, the faithful, the true witness, the ultimate source of God's creation. I know all about you, how you are neither cold nor hot, I wish you were one or the other, but since you are neither, but only lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. You say to yourself, I am rich, I have made a fortune, and have everything I want, never realising that you are wretchedly and pitifully poor, and blind and naked too. I warn you, buy from me the gold that has been tested in the fire to make you really rich, and white robes to clothe you and cover your shameful nakedness, and eye ointment to put on your eyes so that you are able to see. I am the one who reproves and disciplines all those he loves. So repent in real earnest. Look, 
I am standing at the door knocking. If one of you hears me calling and opens the door, I will come in to share his meal, side by side with him. Those who prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne, just as I was victorious myself and took my place with my father on his throne. If anyone has ears to hear, let them listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Look, I am standing at the door knocking. If one of you hears me calling and opens the door, I will come in to share his meal, side by side with him. Whenever I hear those words, I think of this painting by Holman Hunt called the light of the world. It shows Jesus standing at a door, knocking. The door clearly has seen better days. It hasn't been open for a while. The hinges are rusty and weeds have grown all over it. There is no handle on the door. The door represents the door to our souls, the door to our very being. And Jesus is there outside, knocking on the door, wanting to join us. He can't open the door himself, there is no handle. And he chooses not to break the door down. He wants us to invite him in. The rusty hinges and the weeds growing all over the door represent the times that we haven't let Jesus in and sin has overtaken us. And yet still, he patiently knocks, waiting, wanting to join us, if we only open the door. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.